In the course of time, David defeated the Philistines and subdued them, and he took Methagama from the control of the Philistines. David also defeated the Moabites. He made them lie down on the ground and measured them off with a length of cord. Every two lengths of them were put to death, and the third length was allowed to live. So the Moabites became subject to David and brought him tribute. Moreover, David defeated Hadadazer son of Rehob, king of Zaba, when he went to restore his monument at the Euphrates River. David captured a thousand of his chariots, 7,000 charioteers and 20,000 foot soldiers. He hamstring all but a hundred of the chariot horses. When the Arameans of Damascus came to help Hadadazer king of Zaba, David struck down 22,000 of them. He put garrisons in the Aramean kingdom of Damascus, and the Arameans became subject to him and brought tribute. The Lord gave David victory wherever he went. David took the gold shields that belonged to the officers of Hadadazer, and brought them to Jerusalem. From Teba and Barathai, towns that belonged to Hadadazer, King David took a great quantity of bronze. When two king of Hamath heard that David had defeated the entire army of Hadadazer, he sent his son Joram to King David to greet him and congratulate him on his victory in battle over Hadadazer, who had been at war with two. Joram brought with him articles of silver, of gold and of bronze. King David dedicated these articles to the Lord, as he had done with the silver and gold from all the nations he had subdued. Edom and Moab the Ammonites and the Philistines, and Amalek. He also dedicated the plunder taken from Hadadazer son of Rehob, king of Zaba. And David became famous after he returned from striking down 18,000 Edomites in the Valley of Salt. He put garrisons throughout Edom, and all the Edomites became subject to David. The Lord gave David victory wherever he went. David reigned over all Israel, doing what was just and right for all his people. Job son of Zeruiah was over the army, Jehoshaphat son of Ahilad was recorder. Zadok son of Ahitab and Ahimelech son of Abiathar were priests, Sariah was secretary. Benaiah son of Jehoiada was over the Carathites and Pelathites, and David's sons were priests.